Hi everyone, my name is Jim from WildGravityTravels.com and behind me as you can see are walls and if you look really closely behind me here you can see the terrace building uh, formerly known as the hospitality house for those of you from the old SeaWorld days. So join me today as we start our construction updates on a rumor that is now confirmed on the construction of Infinity Falls River Rapids. So stay with me as we journey on into SeaWorld Orlando and following along with these great construction updates on up ahead. This is the former site of Sea Garden that we are now looking at. So again, this is Sea Garden, uh, something we told you about a while ago that would be closed off, walled off, and they'd be building river rapids here. We know, now know that river rapids is called Infinity Falls. No, you do not fall for an infinity amount of time. However, you do go up a vertical elevator style lift. You go drop the tallest drop on a river rapids ride 40 feet uh, from up in the air. And as you can see along the pathway here, this used to be the former area into Sea Garden. You can check on all our previous videos for more information on what Sea Garden used to look like. Even our video from Media Day where Infinity Falls was announced. But you can see these walls run almost all the way to Shamu Stadium on up ahead here. We're going to walk very quickly. And you can see it's just a wall alley. We don't have any concept art yet. Uh, when we had our Mako construction updates, we did see concept art eventually show up on the wall. But that was not for a good while. So you, we're walking the, as we walk the length here of the walls, we're going to turn around and look. But again, as a reminder, just uh, check out the posts on Infinity Falls to learn all the facts. Uh, we even have an interview video on our YouTube page, so be sure to check that out. Uh, with Brian Morrow, who's the head of theme park design for SeaWorld Orlando and beyond, uh, with all the SeaWorld parks in the country. So he's our storyteller and our designer bringing us Infinity Falls. So here we've hit the end of the walls, and I'm going to turn around and just give you, let you guys look at the vast uh, landscape here. So as we turn here, we can see all of the walls. Now, unfortunately, today, Sky Tower is closed. So we won't be bringing you any updates from the air. So I wanted to give you guys one more look at the angle we started this video at. Uh, right here, looking at the walls from the guest area, of course, at the terrace building. We can see the terrace building still there, and it will stay standing uh, throughout the entire process. And once Infinity Falls opens, it will, it will reopen. Uh, and that includes the Pass Member Lounge, which we are losing, sadly, until Infinity Falls opens next year. Now, just to the right of Terrace, through the trees there, you can kind of see some bamboo reeds. And that's where Brian Morrow told us in our interview with him that the vertical lift would be going, or the like vertical elevator lift where your boat will roll onto it, you'll climb to 40 feet, and then you'll make that record-breaking splashdown drop on the River Rapids Infinity Falls. So here we've arrived at Kraken which is becoming Kraken Unleashed, another thing we learned in our press event last week. So be sure to, again to check out those videos, interviews, talking about Kraken and Kraken Unleashed. And one thing we learned about Kraken Unleashed is that we will get a new entry uh, structure, possibly all of this looking at being gone for Kraken Unleashed. Uh, but definitely, we've been told this eel here, this big eel head will be changed possibly to the Leo Pluridine, which we have posted concept art for. Uh, so this is our uh, this is our construction wall and our first look. As you can see here with Kraken, uh, there is a crane up in the air already working, uh, likely removing uh, the trains from Kraken uh, to, for the installation of the VR headsets. One feature of Kraken Unleashed is the option to ride uh, the coaster with a virtual reality headset where you see uh, several different scenes and explore a rift in the volcano and all of that uh, related theming. Again, we've posted all this information in our post covering the Kraken Unleashed as well as some other features coming to SeaWorld Orlando in 2017. So be sure to check all of those out. One more look at Kraken. We can see here at the top of the lift that crane is actually turned towards it now. And we can see uh, the hook from the crane dangling down in there with some workers up there. So they may possibly be working on some 
lift issues or lift maintenance as well. A good time to do all your maintenance on the coaster while it's closed for the VR installation. So we'll be keeping an eye on what's going on with Kraken and try to find out some more information for you. Uh, we strive to be the most informational and quickest providing information at SeaWorld Orlando. Uh, as we were the first to bring you the news about Infinity Falls. So stay with us for all the latest. Finally, we close out with a look at Dolphin Nursery's progress. We can't see a whole lot. We can't, however, see those posts uh, that are still in the air for probably the roof structure of Dolphin Nursery are painted and refinished. Uh, we also see some uh, generator light here uh, looking over. So that's going to be for uh, probably some night work going on, going in, uh, maybe early morning work. So just stay with us. Uh, as I mentioned, Sky Tower is closed today. So with Sky Tower being closed, we're not able to get any of those great aerial shots of Dolphin Nursery that we've been bringing you before. But stay with us uh, as we wait for Sky Tower to reopen. Once it does, we'll be bringing you another construction update, uh, maybe even some before that, uh, as we get some aerial shots of everything going on around SeaWorld Orlando, which is now home to three large wall sets, one for Dolphin Nursery, one for Kraken Unleashed, and of course one for the Big River Rapids Infinity Falls coming in 2018. So next to the Flamingos here, that's going to wrap us up here at SeaWorld Orlando and this update on Infinity Falls, Kraken Unleashed, and Dolphin Nursery. My name is Jim from WildGravityTravels.com. To be more informed about Orlando theme parks and beyond, stay with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Once again, my name is Jim. Have a great day and week ahead, everyone.